well. We've we've decided no doula, and we've we've actually got this this uh, doula Ben, and that would be me. <laughs> Welcome back. So you found out we were pregnant and we showed you how Ben found out and how we told our families. But today we wanted to talk about just an overview of what we're thinking for our pregnancy, how we've been preparing for the birth, and then how we envision or would like our birth to go. Because we know many of you are probably wondering with how different our lifestyle is, what choices we've made. Um, so we're gonna go over that and then in upcoming videos, we will go into more detail on those topics. So a big question that we've been getting a lot is, well, is it a boy or a girl? And our response usually is what? We don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have our guesses. But we're not gonna find out. So, we're not, yeah, we're yeah, keeping it a surprise until the baby is born. Going, going kind of old school with it, right? Yep. And normally you find out the sex of the baby either through an ultrasound or even blood work. Um, but we have decided we are passing on a lot of the routine pregnancy tests that um, they normally do throughout your pregnancy. And so we, we're not doing any ultrasounds and we're not doing a lot of the other tests as well. Unless our uh, midwife brought up a reason that we would need to, but everything seems to be going well so far. And we've decided that we're gonna be doing all of this at home, right? Yes, yeah, we decided that you know we feel more comfortable doing the birth at home. I'm a low risk birth, so that works out great. Um, others feel doing it at the hospital and that's totally fine. It's what you guys feel most comfortable and where you want to give birth. Yeah, it, it, I was born at home. My three sisters were born at home. So we kind of had that going for us, right? That, you know, we at it's least doable. <laughs> we at least know that <laughs> it, it can happen. And so then it was just finding a midwife that would want to come in deliver the baby at home. Right, and one that we felt comfortable with too. Yeah. Because that's important. And so we like interviewed like four. It's funny how it all worked because like the, the lady that delivered me and my three sisters at home, we reached out to her. She's well in her 70s or 80s by now. And so she's definitely not delivering she's babies retired. still. <laughs> but she referred us to the midwives that we ended up choosing. Yes, yeah, so it's it's two midwives, they're um, business partners, and they will be um, delivering the baby. And we also plan to have um, a water tub there, so I can labor in it and possibly deliver in it, depending on what, what I feel comfortable with, but that always helps with pain management. And we're, we're you know, we're prepared if things change. This is just, our plan as of now I, I mean if something was to happen that put Ashley at risk or the baby at risk right we'd be in the hospital if we absolutely need to be there yeah we are mentally preparing ourselves for that because we know it can go in any direction and that's out of our control and then there is this thing called a doula and you can get a doula along with the midwife well we've we've decided no doula and we've we've actually got this this uh doula ben and that would be me <laughs> so i'm gonna be the doula yeah we and, thought uh, long and hard about it right yeah. like we almost were we were going to i was looking into it um but then we you know we thought about it we also talked to our midwife and they said you know it's whatever you're comfortable with a lot of times the husband really is the one that is gonna help push through the labor, you know, with the wife. So we felt like, you know, we're a team with so many things and, and that felt really good for us. So, and we're so comfortable with each other, you know, <laughs> like having someone else massaging you and getting you, well, you know, like there could be two of you 
doing that. Okay. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Well, you know, there's not going to be, and it's going to yeah. be me. And yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're excited to, to, for me to be able to do all this stuff. I really think that I can do it, and I can do a better job in comforting you, and I think you're going to be more comfortable with me. Yeah. There. And yeah. So, with that said, Ben needs to be trained right. on it, right? So our midwife suggested the Bradley Method classes. So we've been taking, um, the woman we're taking it through, she has a 12 week course set up. Um, I think we're on like our fifth or sixth class now. It's like once a week, two hour class via Zoom. And it has been teaching us all about like the stages of labor and coaching him on all the right techniques to keep me relaxed and calm throughout the labor and the birth. Yeah, we're definitely not taking it for the nutrition aspects yeah. of the class. <laughs> yeah, there's a nutrition part of it and it is not in align with our beliefs and what we feel like keeps the body healthy and a baby healthy. Yeah, and with that said, we have not changed how we are eating. We are eating the same way that we were eating prior to Ashley being pregnant. We've even done a liver cleanse during the pregnancy. So like, yes, things have not changed. We're not incorporating more protein or eating dairy or eggs or, you know, gluten or, you know, any of this stuff that we know is bad for us. We're, we're doing the same right. thing. Right. There are just things that I have adjusted knowing that there's certain supplements I shouldn't be taking because it might be too harsh for the baby, staying away from like strong herbs. And I've been incorporating more things like lots of potatoes, good clean carbs, uh, bananas, things like that, um, that I know help develop a healthy, strong baby. Also with the food, we've been making sure we've been incorporating a lot of adrenal snacks because that's really important when you are giving uh, birth to a baby. Because when you give birth to a baby, you are using a lifetime of adrenaline. So you wanna make sure your adrenal glands are in tip top shape so that you have all this energy to push out a baby. And we've also been making lists of what we want at the birth for keeping up our energy. So we'll have like smoothies and juices and other liquids like coconut water to keep both of our energies up um, during the birth. And we'll go into more detail that. I definitely want to do a video on all the things that I'm gonna have prepared for that. Yeah, we're gonna have like a team of people juicing stuff and like <laughs> putting all her liquids together. And, okay, order out, you know. Stop. <laughs> and of course, it's been important to make sure that I'm also staying active. Yep. Right? Which has been pretty easy because I don't have a desk job. We are pretty active with our farming, farming even yeah. just our microgreen business. So that has kept me very active, but of course I'm not doing any strenuous yeah, you've got precious, lifting. You've got precious cargo. <laughs> yeah. That you're carrying right now, so. Yeah. So, and our Bradley Method class is also incorporating and having us do certain exercises like squats and things like that. Yeah. So, I've been keeping be busy with doing that. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then lastly, um, mentally preparing ourselves has been yep. really important. So we've been doing a lot of prayer, um, which is something we were doing before, but just praying a lot about the baby and the labor and the delivery and the pregnancy. And praying with the baby. And praying with the baby. <laughs> um, and then also doing meditation. So like Anthony, the medical medium, he has some really great meditations that help like with releasing fear and keeping calm about things going on in the world. Um, and then I've been listening to this really great app called, uh, it's a Christian Hypno Baby app. Um, I'll have to look up the exact name. But that is also connected to God and is about staying calm and relaxed um, about the whole thing. So that's been really good. So just mentally preparing. Yeah. ourselves as well yeah so this is the plan 
<laughs> and we know things don't always go as planned, but this is our plan. This is, and yeah. we're hoping everything goes as planned. We're praying for it. So, yeah. yeah, so we wanted to kind of open the whole uh, pregnancy video realm that we plan on doing. Yeah. Just kind of talking about like all of the play. Uh, the things we're going to be doing and then eventually there'll be videos on yes it stuff. was so hard not to go into detail on these things right now but we will have videos on those topics so you guys can learn more um but that will be it for now we thank you guys so much for joining us feel free to reach out with any questions and we'll be around soon yeah see ya bye